What is up my shred heads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Struggling with Shreddy. On today's Struggling with Shreddy, we are going to be working on the Spark Cycle Works Bandit. And actually I'm gonna try to hit up uh, Matt on a FaceTime through maybe Instagram and see if he answers. He might not answer, he has no clue. I'm gonna try that, but we're gonna see if he answers later on. Um, we're gonna be either installing one skin wall tire or both, so I'm thinking I just want to do the skin wall on the front since these are pretty much the same exact tread pattern and everything. And uh, changing the back tire on this thing was a, a little struggle for Shreddy. So I don't know, we may do both tires, but we're going to start off with the front tire um, when we get to the tires. But we have other things. We, uh, you, you guys are probably going to help me out through this. But oh, before we get started, if you guys do want to support the channel, there is. Uh, link down below for Spark Cycle Works. You can use code Shreddy. I think it's 100 or 150 off your order. I think, I think it might be $100 off your order. Um, but yeah, if, 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 if Spark isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. But I want to say hi to everybody that's in here. Um, Dee's behind the camera. Everybody say hi to Dee Dee. Hey guys. All right, we have iSchool Connecticut. What's up? Should, should we take bets on if the tree is still up? And the lights are still on. Tom McGill, not sure. What's up, we'll Tom? be finding out. No California tax could be washed if freight is charged. <laughs> Bulletproof. What's up, Bulletproof? Uh, Shredhead, that's a Bulletproof 47, my number one. Uh, my first Shredhead member is here, guys. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel and becoming a Shredhead member, you can get members only videos. We may be doing some members only chats here soon. You get a cool little uh, shred tag next to your name. As you can see, a uh, bulletproof name is green. Um, there is a link down below. It's like youtube.com forward slash ready mixcape forward slash join. Click that link. And I think we only have one tier right now. It's like five bucks a month. But Help support the channel. If you guys have any any uh, ideas of anything you want me to do on those tiers or add more tiers, let me know because I am all ears. I'm all ears. We also have Louis Tramposh. Louis, what up? <laughs> Massive mechanic, bro, I might come over. Massive mechanic, well, yeah, you're, you're going to be the one helping me do the, the back tire then. Because... Ice Cube Connecticut, yeah, the tree is still up. <laughs> yeah, so did you did they do the poll and uh, oh, yeah, did I they all the guess poll. that all the tree is still up? Uh, then we have another member, the Scarecrow. Scarecrow, what's up, brother? And thank you for being a Shredhead member. I did a little like wheelie short little three or four minute video for them guys. Um, I like put like a, when I got the new chin mount. Um, for members only? Yeah, it was a members only thing. When I got the new chin mount, I just wanted to test it out and uh, see what it's all about and how it felt and everything, how it looked to you guys. Um, but yeah, that's a members only video that's up right now. Um, I was going through all this stuff we're putting on. So we got, uh, okay, we're repositioning the kickstand. So normally uh, this is the V1. Uh, the kickstand is right here in the middle, and then when you when you go backwards, the, uh, the the crank arm gets stuck on there, so you can't move it. So they've moved it back here, and I think it might be like a little bit stronger to hold it up a little bit better. But yeah, I won't be able, I won't be running into that kickstand anymore when I'm backing out of my garage because it's a tight area with all those e-bikes. Um, <clears throat> what else? I scoot Connecticut said Robert from Hartford, Connecticut here. What's up, Robert? Ryan Vivian, hey guys from Australia. From Australia, hell yeah. Who do you got on the on the fights? You have to see you tomorrow. Well, I want Volkanovski to win, but uh, I don't know. Islam is is a beast. Bubba Shitty, what up? Bubba, what's up? Jimmy Veras, wait. What's it's up, Jimmy? Still Christmas. <laughs> it's still freaking Christmas, dude. You know how bad I want this tree down, but. For some reason, it's like this an weekend. ongoing thing. Like you guys <laughs> like it. Everybody likes you know to what? trade. We just, yeah, we're gonna keep it up year round, guys. Just for you. <laughs> Somebody mentioned in a comment earlier. I was like, you should just keep the tree up year round. And every time you do these videos and unboxing, just wrap them up in like <laughs> shreddy mixkate, like present wrapping or whatever. <laughs> it's like un unwrapping every day. Carson Christmas. Cowhorn said hi. What's up? How you doing, brother? Bulletproof. Wait a minute. I thought y'all taking the tree down. <laughs> so too. <laughs> I skewed Connecticut. Didn't this bike get new tires last week? Uh, no, hold on. Which tires did I get? Last week was Super 73 tires. The Super 73. And just so you guys know, I did go out today and yesterday and I, I filmed uh, the Frigo review. I uh, did uh, some drone footage, 360 camera footage, GoPro footage. 
I think I'm gonna go out one more time tomorrow and ride around some dirt stuff. And I'm trying to break that motor to see if I can actually break it because I've, I've heard of other people like having problems with it, but so far so good. I took it across train tracks today. I was like, da -da 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 -da. still going strong. So we'll see, we'll see about that. Um, so when you move the kickstand, I gotta add this plate. As I was saying, I cut myself off all the time. Um, you guys are gonna help me figure out where this stuff goes because you know it's why, it's struggling. Why are you moving the kickstand? Um, I said, see how long this crank arm is. When you're backing out the bike and the kickstand's down, like say it's in a tight spot in the garage, and I'm trying to back it out. It, uh, if the kickstand, the crank is all the way on this, it'll stop the bike from moving backwards. So to make that not happen ever again, we're gonna put the kickstand here. But I think I lose my. My, uh, my, my peg, I'm not sure. Can I put the peg, see, this is what you're gonna help me figure out. It's struggling with Shreddy. And we also got some brown grips to match my Puerto Rican bell, my Puerto Rican brown grips. Um, what else we got, what else? Uh, I think that's, oh yeah, and then my little Puerto Rican um, valve covers. Actually, they gave me four of those, that's awesome. So I can put them on another bike, that's cool. And then we got the, Skin wall tires, of course. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Ask them uh, <clears throat> what their favorite tires are. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, what is your favorite tire? Do you guys like a regular, like, straight black tire? Do you like a white wall tire? Or do you like the skin wall tires? The skin wall sounds so funny. <laughs> sounds like a condom. <laughs> yeah, right? They should make the Puerto Rican skin wall a little bit uh, tanner. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could paint them or something. Any questions? I'm um, gonna I'm gonna start kind of getting this out of the way to get this kickstand. Yeah, this off. is the Spark Cycle Works Bandit. Carson Calhorn, where did you get the custom seat and tires? So the seat is from OC Cafe Racer. He does make seats for a Super 73, Aerial Rider, um, Juiced. Uh, what's the other uh, big name brand? There's another big name brand, another brand, I forget. Um, and they also make uh, spark band seats also. So check out OC Cafe Racer. I'm sorry guys, I don't have any kind of discount links for them. And tires? The tires, they actually came from Spark Cycle Works themselves. They, you guys should check out their store. They have a bunch of stuff for selling their, in their shop. Not only e-bikes. I think they got a bunch of those skin wall tires too. So if you guys uh, what's are, your are discount looking code for those. For Spark? Oh, that is deep. Hmm. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, use code Shreddy to get $100 off your Spark Cycle Works Bandit. Um, I feel like there's, yeah, there's definitely. The tires are V tires. Enough. Is that deep enough? Can I get in there? All right, so I'm, I'm going to sit here and figure out what size this is, and I'll answer some questions <laughs> while I'm at it. Unless, Milo Socorro, hey Shreddy. Unless I can hit up uh, <laughs> I Matt. Out. I think I'm gonna hit up uh, Spark Cycle Works. <laughs> Where, what size is it? Get out of here. Yeah, it's definitely. Ice School Connecticut, what camera do you use for your riding videos? So, I'm still rocking the GoPro Hero 8. Reason being is because I always hear of people having issues with the, uh, whatever, the 10 and the 11 that has the, the, the screen on the front. They're always overheating. So why upgrade when I have something good and it's not giving me any issues? He has a link to his camera filming equipment in the YouTube yeah. video's description below. Also. And also the Rode wireless systems that we use to uh, talk to you guys. And actually, I finally got my new mic in. Remember, guys, uh, for 20 minutes, my <laughs> mic kept on clipping out because I do a lot of riding. And these are really thin wires, and they bend a lot from riding and jumping and stuff. Dude, I don't know what freaking... Guys, I don't know, guys. Maybe uh, we should start with the tires. <laughs> well, I would love to get this the kickstand The scarecrow situated. said, got any new strings on the guitar? Yes, I do. I do. I've been actually jamming out recently. Okay. Can we get... Amelia Socorro, hey, what's up, Shreddy? Can we get Matt over here? 
<laughs> He's not paying attention every time I say Hold on. That. Oh, what's up, everybody? They said hi, Emilio. Emilio. Who did yeah. I say before? Hi, dude. All right, let's see. We're, we're FaceTiming a spark. Does it work? All right. Here we go. Let's see if it works. <laughs> this is funny. Please answer. Please answer. Will he answer? Will they answer? Will anybody answer? Are you watching? The, the Are scarecrow. You, Spark, is, he in, is he in here? The scarecrow said, I'm a white wall fan. White walls. Yeah, white walls are cool. ISQ Connecticut, I have raised white lettered tires on my 20 by fours. Nope, they're not answering. What? Maybe. Are these 20 by fours? These are 20 by fours. Yes, yes. Okay, all right, now I'm getting tangled up in my. Did I just order the Insta360? So I think there's a link I for that. I want to upgrade too. to the newer one. So the one I have, I have the Insta360, like the older one that's not waterproof yet. I want to get the next one that's uh, waterproof so I could ride in the rain and stuff. Can you right. ride your bikes in the rain? One more time. Heck yeah, I can ride my bikes in the rain. I ride my one wheel in the rain. That's because I got it waterproof. I see Connecticut. They are at Flat Out Friday today. Oh, They're probably very busy. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. That's right. Is that in Michigan? Flat Out Friday. I wish I could like put my head in this little compartment to see what size this is. I can put my finger in there. It feels like a slight bit smaller Wisconsin. than Wisconsin. It's in Wisconsin. Yeah, it would have been cool to go to that. That's right, like they have e that big- races or something? That big yellow, uh, they're riding a, a yellow tandem bike with like a 2000 watt motor in the rear and a thousand watt in the front. So that's pretty crazy. Maybe I'm not going like far down enough or something. Carson Cowhorn said, I bummed that I, I bummed I had two pins on my wrist this Tuesday. Can't ride for 10 weeks. No way. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. That's a bummer. Okay. So yeah, this isn't going in deep enough, but I can't, I don't know. <laughs> I got wires and all. Let me see. I don't know. Who knows? Some water said Shinko 241 is the best tire and they're all black. Therefore tires should be all black. <laughs> all black tires? All right. I've, I've been loving the, the Shinko 244s on the Suron. They've definitely been really comfortable riding on the road. Everybody loves the 241s though. Everybody loves the 241s. If you guys like Shreddy's shirt, he all does right. have it available for sale. Shreddy struggled and I couldn't find the right size. So we're going to move to, uh, I'm going to swap these out. The grips. Let's go to the brown grips. We're going to brown grips. Oh, sorry. What was the question? Oh, so you're changing grips too? Yeah. I was talking about your shirt, your merch. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Do you guys like it? <laughs> <laughs> There's a link for his merch in the description below if you guys want any Shredheads merch. Should we throw like a discount on there sometime soon? Maybe I'll yeah. do that. Oh, Valentine's Day discount. Right, we should make some shreddy love uh, love shirts. Shreddy make loving. <laughs> Do you guys have anything special planned for this weekend or Valentine's Day or just anything? Bulletproof, the first I ever saw the controller exposed like that on the Bandit. Yeah, not crazy? Here's, here's the battery blender right here, all set up. And this is the Gen, Gen 1 Bandit, so. So do the new bandits come with the kickstand farther back now? Yes, yep, they do. And they come with brighter tail lights, turning signals on the rear instead of just on the front. You got a 52 volt, a little bit, like two or three more amp hours in the battery. All right. You always change everything to brown. <laughs> brown. It's like your seats, your handlebars. Down with the brown. All right. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna loosen these guys up. Let's check them out. Nice little brown tan. Nice and tan. Nice. Oh, I'm Copper. less tan than them. All right. Any questions, guys? I'm gonna try to pay attention now. <laughs> Are you guys excited for the Super Bowl? Who's playing? The Eagles. <laughs> I didn't even know that. I don't even know who else though. <laughs> The Eagles are playing, really? What team are you guys rooting for? 
All right, here we go. I'm gonna slide these suckers on. Oh, oh. <laughs> they feel kind of tight. Should I loosen them up even more? Okay, yeah, they, they work. It works. Yeah, I'm gonna loosen them up a little bit more. Does anyone in the chat still have a Christmas tree on? Yeah, do you guys have Christmas trees up? I'm sure they don't. <laughs> Carson Cowhorn, does the seat work for the Super 73 RX Mojave? Uh, not this one, but they do make seats for Super 73. So actually the seat I have right now on my Super 73 is from OC Cafe Racer. There we go. If you guys want to see anything closer, little, just let me know. We got these little end caps somewhere. These I gotta just slap in these little plastic end caps right fast, right quick. Oh, hold on. Do they even fit? I don't think so. Oh, dang, thanks, so. What doesn't fit? I feel like these grips might be a little, a little long. Oh, does the end caps don't fit? Mm-mm. Might be able to put those old, like, metal ones in there. Some auto go sports. I'm rooting for the local sporting franchise. <laughs> Who's that? What's up, Dumb Waldo? What's going on? David Cook. David Cook, another Shredhead member. What's up, brother? What's up, Shreddy and D? What's up? What up, what up? Oh, while well, you guys are here, those Huntsman tires, I'm I definitely like them, but holy crap, they're hard to wheelie. It's so hard to get used to wheeling those things. I have no clue why. I don't know, it's because the, the uh, old rear tire was a five inch, and then this one is a four, so maybe I'm just not used to doing a wheelie on such a small diameter, but man, I'm starting to get good. Today I, I got a couple good ones. That looks cool, I like the brown on there. I'm down, I'm down. Will this work? Yeah, that's cool, a little metal end cap. I like it, I like it like that. Any questions, guys? I feel like I need to get closer <laughs> and see what you're doing. Oh, it's turning. There you go. That looks cool with a little black end cap like that sticking out, little metal. Look at that. Looks pretty neat. Do I have a metal one on the other side? I hope so. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. Yeah, that looks good. I like it. Dig I it, love dig how it. it has like the copper look on the end. I kind of feel like it would look cool with a brown seat now. Where are the handlebars from? Yeah. Uh, these are the stock handlebars that actually come on the Spark Bandit, and they may have now? these on their website too. They, I'm not 1,000% sure, oh, but. Oh, so they come on the new Bandit? Yeah, yeah. You can, you can, you can actually like choose like a lot of different parts on the Bandit yourself. You can kind of like build your own. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it looks really good. Oh, that was my chain. It look like brown seats. Hitting stuff. Where is it? There you are. That one's on tight. All right, there we go. Ice Cube Connecticut, you get a choice of three different handlebars on the new Bandit. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. What colors? Which ones? Trying to think of uh, anything I've done recently. Got the Frigo review. Got to get out here soon. Definitely was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm surprised at how that bike rode actually for it only being like a $1,500, $1,400 bike. It's definitely a good uh, bike if you can't afford something like a Super or anything in the $3,000 price range. I still have yet to break it though. I don't know if we have that link for the Frigo under this video, but we can check. Uh, if you do want $100 off the Frigo, it's code SHREDDY. Just go over to thefrigo.com. Right now, I got it on like jack stands. Oh, that's Matt the Mechanic. <laughs> can I get the door? Get him? I'm gonna tag Matt in once I get the, that rear wheel. There we go. 
Oh, now I gotta loosen everything up first, so hold up. Hello. So maybe it won't be a struggle if I do the back tire now. Struggling with Shreddy. Let's go. Look at that. That looks nice. They actually feel nice. They're, they're pretty comfortable. They're nice and soft. I like the feel of them. Dig it. What? Enter the camera. Yes. <laughs> Take a seat on our couch and cross your legs. We have an audience member. Hello, hello. Yeah, do you, do you want another audience member next to you? So I don't feel lonely. My little skeleton. What's going on, Eddie? Trying to get this guy all prettied out. Man, what are you doing to us? You want dead shred next to you? You feeling lonely? <laughs> you want daddy shreddy next to you? You want a controller upgrade? Nah. Nah. I would like the 52 volt bandit in the future. So Ice Cube Connecticut said the three dope. handlebars the Bandit comes with now are BMX cargo or cafe bars. So yeah, like that little upgrade for me, like totally just changed the, the feel of it. Like even like the look. That looks dope. I like that. Big grizzly. Yeah, right. Don't you think it would look cool with a brown leather seat? Yeah, for sure. That would look that awesome. Tires. I think I want to change the headlights on this to a single round. I like it too. I think it, it looks it cool, apart. but I don't know. Show it'll. Us. I think it'll fit this thing better. If it feels like a single round headlight. Like, I don't know. To me, this doesn't look right with the double. Just that's me. What do you guys think? So Moto said, "Did you get out in. and ride today, Shreddy? The weather was insane." I did. I got my uh, Frigo F1 Pro review. Uh, pretty much almost like 100%, but I did screw up when I pulled out the drone. And normally I pull out the drone and I start recording on my GoPro to get like the, the, the audio from here to the drone or whatever. What happened, I had my GoPro plugged into a battery and for some reason it, it just shut off and stopped recording. So I'm gonna go back out and reshoot my drone footage. But I did get some pretty cool drone footage. Um, yeah, the motor said it was oh, like yeah. mid 50s in NYC today. I think it was like 60 here, but the wind chill was a little. Yeah, about 60. Nice and funny. So Walter said, I skipped installing my security cam in my new apartment because it was so nice. I had to ride. Really hope I don't get murdered tonight. There will what? be no evidence. <laughs> Who's going to kill you, bro? <laughs> I ask you, Connecticut. I went to ride today. The irony was that the battery was dead on my gas bike, so I rode an electric one. Okay, we got, we got the grips on. I love it. What them. electric bike did you ride? Hold on, the battery died on your gas bike? Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Time for an upgrade. He said, where did you get the tan handlebars? Maybe I, I should just stick the, the back kickstand on just for now. <laughs> uh, these actually came from Spark Cycle Works, so go check out their website. They have all types of accessories and tools and tires and tacos. Not tacos, I just wanted to throw another T in there because all right, looks like we got another And uh, bolt Shreddy, for attached. people just joining, do you want to tell them what bike this is again? This is a Spark Cycle Works Bandit. They are actually from Brantford, Connecticut. Um, if you guys check out sparkcycleworks.com, just check out the website. And if you guys are interested in buying one of these, when you get to checkout, use code Shreddy and get $100 off your order. All right, so I think I'm going to, I was trying to get this kickstand off, but for some reason, like these don't bend all the way to the bottom like it's oh, it's yeah, yeah it's it's part? that it's like to right there and as you can see where my thumb is is where like the bottom of the hole is andre perry said what's up shreddy i don't even know if it's this one or what what's up andre how you doing my brother you need a <laughs> socket if you get a uh, socket with an allen on it uh, socket with an allen on it right here sure. Oh, fuck it with an Allen on Some water said, I bet they would sell more bikes if they included tacos. <laughs> I love tacos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought I brought my sockets in here somewhere. That'd be a cool thing to do with um, tacos. Free tacos. <laughs> where are my sockets? There they are. In the kitchen. Where they I don't... Scoot Connecticut said, Sparks Lake Works just moved. I can't wait for the next open house. Yeah, they got, dude, the warehouse is coming along great. It's looking really freaking nice. I'm definitely, definitely excited to go visit them and see 
everything they got brewing up in there. Do I need an extension or anything? Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Shimona! Good thing I took the battery out. It's not upgraded, it's more just like it's getting redirected. I guess it's an upgrade if it's, if it's stopping uh, this from happening, you know what I mean? Like arm gets stuck on this when you're backing uh, it up. It's, it's yeah. Well, it's gonna be back here. Oh, okay. That's why I got. I have this plate that's gonna get mounted. He. I gotta take that off. So. I see Connecticut said actually they have some good tacos right down the street along the waterfront in New Haven next oh, to nice. IKEA near Spark. We're gonna have to hit that up. Well, I always hear from Spark that you guys have the best pizza in the world in, in Connecticut. Is that true? Is that like the true thing? Is that a true thing? Because then everybody says they have the best pizza in Chicago, then New York has the best pizza. I did have some good pizza in Connecticut, I know that. But I still gotta say, my favorite pizza around here is called Touch of Italy. Oh my God. He likes so thin good. pizza. I like thick pizza. Dude, <laughs> this is a lot. Like yeah. yeah. I like that Sicilian. Yes. Supreme pizza with everything, deep dish. <laughs> she knows what's up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that there was we go. The best. That was so crazy. Some water said the best pizza is in NYC, bro. Italians come here for pizza. What's the place called? Are there a lot of places? Pizza, pizza. I love pizza. Pizza and tacos. I could, I could eat pizza and tacos in the same meal. Like two oh, tacos, know, two slices of pizza. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. That's the only thing he eats, guys. All right, so <laughs> now we're gonna pull this sucker out. Pizza, tacos, frappes, that been and nice now macarons. Huh? This is it. Yes. Brian McCann, uh, struggling yet? I'm oh, shrugging yet. <laughs> Struggin', We're, we haven't, well, we've struggled a little bit. We've struggled a little bit. And Brian McCann is another Shredheads member. Oh, we got a new Shredhead, or no? Oh, Brian McCann's in here. Brian McCann, what's up, brother? <laughs> I was too cheap to sign up for another Shredhead. <laughs> 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 uh, it's $5 out the door. $5? <laughs> Matt had to pay $5 to get in. <laughs> yeah, the member's fee. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, yeah. This, that actually kind of cool, like, join a live on, on we need audience. <laughs> yeah, like clap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, would you guys like that? A little live audience for struggling with Shreddy and I invite you over? <laughs> yeah, we have some guests. Just sitting here, you know. How funny would that be? That'd be kind of cool. The Scarecrow oh my God. said... How come everything's so long? <laughs> what do you think about the <laughs> new sidecar for the new Wicked Thumb? Dude, did you guys know that I'm getting one very soon? And guess, guess who's going in the sidecar? We're throwing Dee Dee in that sucker. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll definitely be throwing <laughs> Sir Ron or Connor. Sir Ron or Connor, he doesn't even know it yet. <laughs> What's your discount code for um, Wicked Thumb? Uh, Shreddy 100 for $100 off. Yeah, that sidecar looks awesome. So cool. Don't you guys like it? it makes me want to buy a dog to stick in there. <laughs> Only for the sidecar. And I'm like, all right, here, take this dog. I don't want to clean poo poo. It is, and they have a. They also also have an a, a extended swing arm that they have that they sell. It's like super freaking beefy if you want to do a 72 volt build on this bike. So, and possibly I always have a lot of people asking, do they just sell the frame? Is it the frame just for sale? I know they're contemplating it. I don't know how soon. It might not be super soon, but they're definitely thinking about it because a lot of people are asking them. I see Connecticut. New Haven does have some excellent pizza, but I like the one dollar slice pizza you get in NYC and have to eat on the street. They have one dollar pizza. Dollar? He can't beat that. Yeah, Ryan McCann said I'm the third Shredhead member. The third Shredhead. All right. After COVID, it's ten dollars a slice. <laughs> Should the Puerto Rican Bell be the last thing to go on? The Puerto Rican Bell? Yeah, we'll do that. The, por <laughs> the Puerto Rican <laughs> a little tired. <laughs> Let me put that back down here. Okay, so that's off. 
I'm just kind of like guessing that this is going to go like right here. Some water said there's no best pizza place. That's why NYC is the best because we have a place that My will be your personal goes, like, best for everyone. It just goes on top of the Oh, Brian said shredding meets Hogwarts. <laughs> what magic? <laughs> Andre Perry, I just bought oh, me a Yolen e like off Alibaba. It comes with two 52 volt batteries and two Bafang 1000 watt motors. The silver ones? We'll have to check that out. Sorry, uh, what did he buy? <laughs> a Yolen e bike off Alibaba with two 52 volt batteries and two Bafang 1000 watt motors. A Yolen? Nice. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, It looks like. Well, That's not it because. It came with these, right? Yeah. Or maybe it's this. No, because those holes don't line up. It could be maybe use, the holes, these holes don't line up. Use those for um, that. Yeah, it so looks like. should be smaller ones here. Yeah, and then this goes underneath like that. But I don't know. Am I showing plumber's crack over here? I feel, I feel, I feel a gust of wind. Oh, these are nice bolts too. Yeah, they are really nice. The scarecrow said, I'm getting a longer, I'm getting the longer fenders and a rack for my wicked thumb. Very nice. Yeah, see that? You would, you I don't think it would go like inside. Think. I love the wicked thumb. The motto, the dollar pizza places have become few and far between. The one on St. Mark's Something Place is still the best to me though. Ryan here they McCann. are, here they are. These are it. Brian McCann said Puerto Rican Let's... spell equals yelling in right? Spanish. No. <laughs> yeah, so these are it then. <laughs> That was funny, there, Brian. Uh, Where's the older ones? Yeah, it seems like it's like a slight bit off. Sorry, uh, can I can I reread that question again? <laughs> Brian McCann said Puerto Rican bell equals yelling in Spanish. <laughs> yes. It's turning into a struggle right now with Shreddy's. And we haven't even got to the tires yet. Nope. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. <laughs> They're pretty long, but the other ones that I pulled out were. Evan Frouge, have you heard back from Ride One Up about reviewing a Rev that, One? No, not yet. Is that their trike that they just came out with? That thing looks fun. NJMP, what's up, Shreddy My Taino? Who said say it again? NJMP, what's up, Shreddy My Taino? Yo, what's up? Get pasa! Brian McCann, yelling in Spanish, holding a flip flop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Let's just try to make it work, dude. This this is why it's called struggling with shreddy. We're just gonna. It's gonna your hardware is not. Oh, Evan said it, it looks doesn't like, line up, does it? It looks like a Super Seventy Three RX. He said. The, the the Bandit. The no, um, the new ride one up. Like oh, does cheaper. it really? They got a moped style e bike now. Oh, that's like the Frigo you were reviewing we'll today. He has a cheaper electric moped oh, like video it. coming out soon, too. This is a V1 of this bike. They have two other versions, so this stuff could be just like yeah, totally would, different. The back of this out. Oh, we're going to make it work. It's going to happen. Sign tag Darren, all black everything. Everyone likes the all black tires. <laughs> That's the look of. Uh, the YouTuber um, Uncle Roger said, Hiya! <laughs> oh, don't let it fall on me, guy. <laughs> oh, man, you're not even near it, bro. You gotta go back so much further. Oh, my God, yeah. Can I push it further in? Right. We're doing it. Brian McCann, has Shreddy seen oh, yeah. the George Hamilton Zorro film from 1980? Out, Zorro? So it feels tight. Maybe I can just... The Gay Blade, get, excellent get film. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is it with Antonio if it works, in Paris? I'm happy with or it. Or something else. Yes, it's huh. Janky, I know. But for now, we're going we're gonna to do is this for like now. Is it the original Zorro? To see. You could do a, uh, a little... Put some spacers. Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna you see. Step it and open that up so it slides in that, and then put a, oh, a, yeah. a washer with a. Uh, I'm am gonna mount the pedal still. Yeah, I could actually just drill the hole out a little bit more. Drill the hole so yeah. it slides in there. Yeah. And we might have to get a little smaller. Shreddy doesn't have all those tools. If I did, we could start doing that. But um. But hey, 
for right now, I'm going to mount this as is. And when uh, we're done, I'll head over to Lowe's. We'll get a little drill. And then, and, you know, you know how it goes, guys. It's not a struggling with Shreddy if we're not struggling with Shreddy. Scarecrow said struggling with Math Mechanic and <laughs> Shreddy 100. It's happening. The Scarecrow, oh, I think really? you just put one of Shreddy's coats in there. <laughs> Actually, did, I did something with that, so I can't remember what I did. I did stuff down here. I like put all this stuff together. I did, I did things. Steinbeck Darren said, I'm all about the Spark Bandit. Tell me all about what you think of it, especially for a heavy Hell guy yeah. like me. Oh, this thing is definitely great for, for a heavier rider for sure. And they also have like a, they, they got a newer seat now for a taller rider that's like a little bit like more cushion for the pushing. Dimebag, he loves it. He has tons of videos on the Spark Bandit. Oh yeah, hanging out with him in Connecticut. The, the crew over there is awesome. A lot of fun to hang out with. And he'll be riding this in a video soon too. Hell yeah. We're taking this off road. I think I want to take the gears off of this and make it straight, just no gears and straight moped it maybe even stick some, some pegs on this one you know i don't have pegs even on my freaking Suron. <laughs> and dive bank if you're just joining the new cool. eddie tell them about the new spark bandit for this year what it comes so the with? new spark bandit is actually a 52 volt spark bandit that goes a little bit faster than this one and instead of a 24 amp hour battery it's uh 26 or something like that a little bit bigger um what else do they have instead of just having the turning signals right here in the front they have it here and on the back and uh, the rear brake light is actually a lot brighter on the newer ones too. So that's always definitely a good plus. You're able to customize it. A lot of customizations on the Bandit. Guys, check out the website and customize a Bandit for yourself and see how fun that is to do. Like Shreddy just put the new handlebars on earlier in this live. They're this. brown with copper and okay. they're sold at Spark too. I think we're gonna go to the front wheel. I don't know if I want to flip the bike or stick another. <sighs> yeah, Dimebag Darren said I'm tall and heavy, so that would be perfect. It's got Let's that see. huge front chain ring. Break. Oops. Go all the way down the back. Did I break my mic again? Hello? I want a 72 volt here? spark bandit. Bandit. 72 volt? That's the way to do it. I think uh, Bomber Marv is going to be making one here very soon, and it's going to go really fast. Go <laughs> Just do it all the way. Um. What am I, what do I want to do here? Because I, I want to change a front tire. Some water said get a Milwaukee 12 volt cordless drill and impact gun set. You won't regret owning those tools. Say that again? He said get a Milwaukee 12 volt cordless drill and impact gun set. You won't regret regret owning those tools. I do have a tools. cordless drill somewhere. <laughs> I got to check in the basement and see what kind of other tools I got. I do have a few tools laying around. I used to have like a all types of tools. Dimebag Darren said, if I change hmm. the controller, what is the most I can feed stock motors? Say that again? If I change, I change the, the controller, controller, what is the most I can feed stock motors? It, it all really depends on how much power, the, mo the how big the motor is, really. Like, this is a 1,500 watt motor, and I think they're pushing like 3,000 watts out of it or something. And then when you put, you can actually put a 52 volt battery on this 48 volt bike and make, make it go a couple more miles an hour. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. I don't, I don't want to flip the bike over, but I think I might have to. Um, so if you guys are interested in the Spark Cycle Works Bandit, make sure you check out that link down below. Use code Shreddy. You get $100 off this bike. If the Spark Cycle Bandit isn't free, check out all those other links down below because I have a ton of other bikes down there to check out because there definitely might be a bike you like. Fuck shout. This is the story is, of a is shred. Is the code just Shreddy or is it like Shreddy 100? Thanks. The code for the bandit is just code Shreddy. Yeah, just, let's see what happens. I want to do it slowly because I don't want to crush the controls. All right, I'll lay it on my knee right quick. Oh, I can grab up higher. There we go. What was that? that was a bolt. Oh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Right. Did I have a bolt somewhere? <laughs> uh, I heard oh well you know it's struggling with shreddy it's okay okay um <laughs> what's going on um oh, i should have probably just put this on but it's all good now i gotta find the older bolt for this it's okay it's okay we got them right here 
I see Connecticut. I test rode the new 52 volt bandit. It is a sweet ride. Dude, I'm jealous. I want to try it so bad. I want to try one out so bad. I just need to get a transit van to get my butt up there. Some water said your tools suck. Get the Milwaukee M12. <laughs> oh, that's what I use for. No, hold on. Is it the M12 we use for our jackets? Yeah. Yeah, the M12 batteries. That's what I use. A Milwaukee. Uh, I got a Milwaukee jacket. <laughs> I need a jacket. <laughs> I always like feeling the tension on bolts. When I that feels loose. Yeah, that's, yeah, I think so. Dimebag said, can you please cover how Bandit is not made as dual motor anymore yeah. and why if you can share it or if you know why? Why they don't do dual motors anymore? Yes. I think they were just having issues with it and it's just more of a hassle than, than one motor. To, to not deal with it, yeah. But you can always do it yourself. DIY is the way to go. Don't you have two motors? For the Aerial Rider Grizzly. <laughs> um, Dimebag said, Bandit used to be available with two motors, but that was changed. So they don't offer They those. were fun. If you guys do want to see a video of me, just look up Shreddy and Spark Cycle Works. I think it was the first time I went there. I tried the dual motor Bandit, and that was a lot of fun. They were definitely cool. So it's Are not these, an upgrade like, option? In or anything? No, not anymore. Definitely something you can still do yourself, though, like I said. Not, not too hard. All right. Dude, I'm totally, I need like a carpet where it has like a little corner I could put like tools in, like bolts and stuff. I need something. All right. So I want to take out the valve core in here, which reminds me, I got some presents from Armadillos, guys, if you guys are interested. I don't have any, I don't know if I have a discount code for this. It might be, what was the old discount code for this? I don't know. You'll have to ask Shoot. them to put it in here. <laughs> it was like super, I forget. It was like 10% off of armadillos. I'm about to ask the guy. If you guys do want armadillos, the blue stuff is what I use in the, in the uh, moped style e-bikes. Um, I used to use these, or I still use this stuff in my one wheels, but I use the red stuff because it's not rated for uh, 32 miles and up. This is rated for like faster moped bikes and stuff. I, I do have some of this in my Super 73, which still has like a hole from a little staple I ran over in Lowe's and it's still holding. So I'm still using that same exact inner tube on the new tire I just put on. Hey, <laughs> that's cool. Got a little one wheel. So this armadillos. Is armadillos. Yep. Pretty cool. Dig it. Thank you, Armadillos. They got a bunch of stickers in there and stuff. And the reason I grabbed this is because I got my little valve core removal tool right here. It's gonna make life easier. Cool, I can get my Puerto Rican valve covers on there. It's gonna look neat. All right. I'm dreading this. Remember how, how much it sucked putting that rear tire on? <laughs> Tom Water said the brakes are going to be messed up when you turn that bike right side up. I, I just got to pump them. That happened actually with the Super 73 RX. The, um, uh, the brakes got like super squishy or, or uh, spongy or whatever. But once I got it pumped back up, it was fine. Oh, God, the air smells so bad like fish. Ew. <laughs> That's such a cool feeling, it all shrinking. That's neat. All right, remember my valve core. I, I key. Dimebag said, as I understand it, strong enough front forks to handle the torque and be something they wanted to warranty was just too much. Speaking about spark. Yeah, just, motor. yeah, like dealing with that, eh, might as well not do it. Let the customer upgrade it themselves if that's something they want. But like you said, we can still do before. it YOLO. <laughs> Ben Shapiro, what are some what of your heck? most reliable bikes? Oh, God. Sorry. Hold on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is confusing. It's weird. It's like the inner tube was like glued. No, that's the... What uh, the hell? It's like glued to it, though. It's weird. I've never... There it goes. The tape, the rim tape was like stuck to it. That was weird. Maybe it just got really hot in there or something. <laughs> that's funny. And with this, I don't think it's like the Super 73 where you have to have the bead pop in. But Let's hope not. I'm going to over inflate to get 
get it to set evenly and nice. All right, which way does it go? Oh, those arrows on it. Yeah. It goes nice. this way. Right. That's always on the left side when it's right side up. Right. Yep. Just put that through and get one end in. There you go. Do I have a pump? Yes. Pump it up. <laughs> All right, let me get the valve core back in. Pump it up. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Yes. They said, what are your most reliable bikes? So far, definitely the Bandit has been good. I haven't had any issues with that. The Arrow Rider Grizzly has been great. My Zoos is, have been awesome. Does it go this way or this way? This way. Wicked Thumb. The Wicked Thumb has been great. No issues at all with that bike. I mean, literally the only issue that I've ever had was with my Super 73. I've broken like three or four motors and two controllers, something like that on that. But again, guys, if you guys are interested and you guys want to support the channel, you guys are enjoying this struggle with Shreddy and Math and Mechanic and DD, hey, definitely drop a like and check out all those links down below. Check out my Amazon links. Uh, if you guys are interested and want to join the Shred Heads membership, Click that link down below. It's only five bucks a month. And maybe I'll do like some one-on-one um, -on -one FaceTime tiers or something like that with you guys. And you guys, all the bikes he mentioned that are reliable, he does have discount links and codes for the bikes in his video's description below. I should have done a little bit of a hand pump. <laughs> Do you feel lonely over there without dead shred? <laughs> Shredded. Shredded. Dead shred. Steinbag, right, one-wheel riders over. are nutty. Not enough between me and the pavement. <laughs> I love my one-wheel. I, I still ride it a lot. I know you guys don't ever see me on it, but I do uh, ride it quite a bit. Oh, uh, crap, how I'm much doing blue this stuff goes into each tire? Uh, you're supposed to only use like half of a bottle if you get the 16 ounce bottle. Dude, this was supposed to be bopped over the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need Matt's it's a struggle. help? <laughs> That's a struggle right now. Nah, he's got no, we're good. <laughs> Don't look, Dead Shred. <laughs> Things aren't going my way. Hello, can, uh, can I help you out? Time Bank said we need park tools to reach out and set you up with a basic kit. Uh-huh, that would be nice. Maybe I got too much air in there. Air in there. <laughs> I want this to be popped up so I could slide it right in there. So see You're how welcome. that's like this on this side? It should have been on that side. See that? <laughs> I don't feel like it. Then I gotta pop it out. Why are they laughing at the name Ben Shapiro? They like love the name. Is that an actor or something? Ben Shapiro is that dude that wears that thing on his head and he sounds funny. Jordan B. Peterson? Oh, that is a hard question. Arrow Rider Grizzly or Spark Bandit? Or the Spark Bandit? Oh, man, man that, is, that is a hard decision right there. Matt, help me. If you're riding mostly on the roads, um, then the Spark Bandit. That would just do the same exact thing over again. More of a moped. If you're going off road, I shouldn't have hit my pen before this thing. struggle with Shreddy. That was a bad one. All terrain. Yeah. So what, why did you pick All right. Don't do it. No. What are Matt and Shreddy doing? Can you guys explain what you're doing? Explain it. They're showing you how to change the tire. How didn't I struggle last time? I didn't, sh yeah, that's what I need right there. There it is. Yeah, so where's the hole? That's what she said. There's the hole. The Stick hole. it in a hole. There's hole. It's only because I'm helping, now it's working. <laughs> Dude, I kept on doing it in reverse. <laughs> ah. That was great. Stick it in, push. Push it. Oh, now it's going down. Oh, dude. 
Dead. Oh, dead. He's dead. Get it in the hole, dead. Oh, now it's far. Now it's far off. Oh, come on. It's not as far as off as yours. Yeah, I was pretty off. Oh, now it's crooked. Now it's aiming this way. Oh, now you're straight. There we go. The stream was crooked, but now we're good. Matt to the rescue. Whoa. All right, we'll pop this bead in. Oh, oh pop no, it. there's a bead. It's actually pretty easy to do this one. That's an easy one to do. That's the easel. It's a bid. This ain't no uh, huck bead. Oh yeah, that's right. Don't touch his couch. <laughs> Do not. Especially since yeah, this this is a. Uh... Matt. Are you guys gonna have a bid a uh, bid on uh, if the couch gets messed up or a pole? Should we put a blanket down? Thanks. I'm putting it on 20 psi. <laughs> Learn this from you guys. As our tree falls down. And help. <laughs> I'm just making sure that little line around it goes evenly. So I think I have to over inflate to get it to, to set evenly. So we're gonna go to like 30. You have to wait for that to start coming out a little more on this side. Unless these do sit, like you have to set these. Eddie. Is it good? Can we stop it now? It's only, it's only a 20. We're good. It's not high. It's starting to come out right there. No, it didn't come out. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. It's only 27. Mm. Let's go to 40. <laughs> Can these explode? You know those other tires? Huh? You know those other tires? Yeah. And the one guy who replaced it. And, and they, they go boom. And it popped out the side, yeah. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not happening, bro. What can happen? It's gonna explode. I don't think these beads pop in. It's too stiff now. Okay, stop. It's too stiff. <laughs> Let's melt. Relax, y'all. Relax. Sure. Relax. <laughs> What's that right now? Uh, almost 40. That's not a lot. What is the size that you say don't like succeed or explode? Moped. <laughs> oh, inflate to 8 to 20. Heck yeah, that's how we do it. All right, well, where'd my little, uh, there we go. Dude, she's fat. Yeah. That's a thick, thick, thick tire right there. Oh, 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 all right. Come on, said dime bag. The spark wins that hands down. It's just more upgrade friendly. Um, I scoot Connecticut said my wife forbid me from getting a one wheel. What, really? I, I think it took a lot of, uh, and like a lot of asking you to get a one wheel because it, it was very expensive. No, he wants an EUC and I'm afraid he's going to fall on his face. I'm getting an EUC. That's what's happening. <laughs> All right, we're going back in. I'm just going to try to get it to seat. Why did you let all the air I didn't mean to. Come on, park tools. Has anyone considered a schlump? Front main wheel. Schlumpf. It's a two-speed transmission for the main crank. Schlumpf. There we go. Schlumpf or nickel. I guess that's a no. <laughs> I never I ever used it. Or... Not wheel, front crank. So Amelia sure. said, hey, dime bag. It's like having a front derailleur again without one. All right. This is. I'm going to try to hold it like kind of even. Twenty. Twenty PSI. <laughs> Everyone 
everyone's saying that's a great Valentine's Day tree. <laughs> they actually had Valentine's Day it's like, ornaments. It's a running thing now with place, the darn and tree. I was like, we should just get them and put them on the tree. It can be a Valentine's Day tree. Right. Dude, I think I have to over inflate Everyone's to get this. Everyone's saying try bouncing it. Is that a 20 right now? No, we're at three. I just want to see those, that little line because I'm seeing it here, but I'm not seeing it here. Pinch it in there. You see the horrible, there. they block my view. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Hi, Sorry. That looks kind of better. Nah, I'm still not seeing. 11 PSI, let's see what happens. We'll take it to 20. That one's in. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey, it worked. <laughs> Yeah, 22 PSI. Maybe that's how you know it's There we go. Let me just show you guys, because I'm, I'm actually proud of that. I'm very proud of this, guys. I like that tire. It looks cool. It's like a dirty one. Very skinny. Very skinny looking. Skin, skin tire looking. How's your tabs on? They're actually pretty good. I actually adjusted the front one recently. Today, actually. All right. All right, the back is going to be a struggle, I know. it. I wish I knew how many umfer nickels of torque I had to put on this. Umfer nickels? <laughs> like three nickels. One umfer nickel, two umfer nickels. <laughs> That was that was one on for nickel right there. I might have to add another one. Russell that was two. Four. There we go. I think that's good for now. Yeah, I gotta adjust what? the bike, but it's fine. All right. I saw it, but can you help me like drag it like just a little bit forward there so we can get the rear I said that tire? That rad with bright yellow skids on it. I colored tires back. Yeah, right there. It's good. The BMX day and they were fast. Or I've already fucked oh. them up. Oh. My fat pad is red. Red tires with rock. Oh, nice. Send me a picture, bro. If anybody uh, wants me to check out their e bike, send me a picture at shreddymixgate at gmail.com. Oh, you guys are going to be excited for, yeah, to lose a thumb bike. Uh huh. Oh no. Do I do? Should I? Do, should I do the back? Oh. Yeah. It's huge. I know this could strip it. I learned. I learned. Learned that I have to have one of these. Just in case. I don't think I have one that this big. Oh, <laughs> thanks. But oh. so you're gonna have to hit it with that. Kind of just like or stick this in, stick it in here somehow, and then just kind of like, I don't know. You're close. <laughs> Were you trying that to worked. <laughs> I loosened it. That's what I'm doing. It worked. Can you tell the audience what you're doing? This is Puerto Rigan. I'm rigging. I'm rigging it up. Oh, 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 I got boo-boo. Okay, I'm not bleeding. I'm good. I was, I was like thinking, why am I doing this? If, I, if I'm bleeding, I thought I was bleeding. I'm like, blood was flying everywhere, but we're good. All right, so this one's nice and loose. Um, oh, crap. What else do I got to do here, though? I know I gotta take that off. 
we can move that out of the way. Oh my God, I bruised my finger on that. That felt great. No, we're good. This little, this little bruise, it's already swollen. Uh, I think I broke. <laughs> All right, no, what are we clipping? Where are the snippy snippies? There they are. Oh, snippy snippy. Yeah, cut that big black wire. Yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Ooh, dust like f flew everywhere. Oh, my finger, my finger. I do like the fact that you don't have to face it up to the frame. Mm -hmm. Boom, right there, that's it. it. Makes it so, so easy. Okay, that's that. Dude, my finger hurt. My finger, my finger. Um. Mm-hmm. I gotta pull out the, the bolt all the way out so I can get the, the torque arms off. There we go. Any questions? Uh, Dime Bag says you're one of those inexpensive compressors that has a little tank that you can pre-fill the tank when not streaming. Oh yeah, those that would actually be nice. I do need an air compressor too, something that'll blow air stuff around too. That would be nice. Put an air hook up in your living room. Right. <laughs> Pull it out. <laughs> the mechanics. The mechanic house. <laughs> Russell said there's a 2655 right. gigantic snow tire out there somewhere, but I've um, never found it in stock anywhere. Twenty. Snow tires. Yeah, I have. I think they're twenty by fours from V. Okay, the chain's off there. Remember how hard this was to get off? Because that torques in. It looks better with white walls. Yeah, because I remember that always being uh, hard to twist yeah. out. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's some of the like, squares, right? Yeah. Omni yeah. Rock, like tw number 27. Why are people eating like number five? I saw some earlier. I just can't think of it or not. I think I might have to unscrew that thing right there. So I can lift it over that, yeah. Unscrew the, right here. Dimebag said, man, if I was close, I could drop off some feather tools. <laughs> Dimebag, come hang out, bro. Fly to Delaware, come help us out. How many guys does it take to I think I have to take this off, right? Uh, if you if it won't, lift, won't lift up, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of hard. Cuatro. I don't know. This might be one. Cuatro. Russell said the tad is still dead. I can make no. it long. We have to solve the IPO problem. Why is it I still dead? The parts every time I smash it. At least I'm free of the derailleur now. I think I could put the kickstand back on. Oh, wow, that's good. Oh, I did cut my hand. I cut my finger. This is the first time I cut myself under struggling with shreddy. I'm becoming a man. <laughs> there go. Oh, thank you. Do you guys want me to go live for my birthday? Nobody wants to come do it. Yeah. It's my birthday and nobody's coming. Alright, I remember getting the tire back on was a struggle. Like getting the chain, the chain on. Yeah. Battery. That was the struggle last time. We were like, wow, well, the hell? I mean, I would just remove the chain. I want to get rid of the... I want to get rid of this. It's the invisible chain in 2023. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Well, I, I would do a single chain, but get rid of this and just keep the one. Let's keep the Karen. Yeah. Karen guessing games. Russell said some e-bikes are moving to high pivot swing arms. Suron. Speaking of swing arms. I think everybody wants to make a Suron competitor now, I think, because I feel like Suron is uh, definitely taking off. Oh yeah, if you guys are interested in that swing arm giveaway from Defiant EMX, the, the, the giveaway is, it's not live yet, but the submissions are live right now. We'll have uh, the giveaway live here pretty soon. There's a lot of submissions, so we might 
start the voting earlier? How do they enter? Go to my Instagram, read the rules, make sure you have a sir on, and oh, it's gonna freaking hurt to stick my finger in there. Uh, make sure you have a sir on, put a picture of your sir on in your stories, tag me, and um, what else you gotta do? I think you probably gotta tag a friend in that post and all that jazz. And then all the bikes get entered, and then everyone votes, the community votes for which bike wins. So make sure you guys are following him on Instagram. Can I that. just leave the energy thing? <laughs> Make it a struggle. Russell said we should Zoom conference a dab sesh, lol. Say that again? We should Zoom conference a dab sesh, lol. Oh, sorry, did I shake that? You just threw that at the camera. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to rock y'all. I mean, I like to rock you guys, but not like that. Zoom meeting, dab sesh. Zoom meeting. Yep. Time bag man, I do not Instagram. I know a lot of people don't like doing the Instagram. What's up? Well, okay, the other way, if you do have the, uh, the Suron, just, um, I did put up the, the giveaway on YouTube, and I wrote, if you guys want to submit it through YouTube, just send it to shreddymcskate at gmail.com. Or Facebook even messages. Yeah. Send a picture of your bike. And yeah, it's got to be easier. I've done it like that, but it was a, it was a, it was not much of a struggle. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I love how like floppy the sides are. Just so easy. Evan said you can get a decent 90s piece heart socket set from Walmart for like $35 with lifetime warranty. <laughs> so this is they, guys. They, they're... They're not happy with my tool game. It's not that good. <laughs> I've actually had that since I was like pretty young, since like, since I think my first car. I do have T-handles. Yeah, I got it for my last birthday, because you guys. <laughs> they kept on saying I need T-handles. I was like, all right, I'm going to ask for T-handles for my birthday. <laughs> How funny is that? You get, you just ask for tools for your birthday when you get old. That's like. That's so weird. Awesome. <laughs> what do you want for your birthday now? Tools. Before it was like video games. I mean, I still want video games. Oh no, I've been asking for a transit van. Who's, who's got me on that? <laughs> who's got me on the transit van? Guys, make sure if you, if you guys are interested in becoming a Shredhead member, check out that link down below where it says Shreddy McSkate uh, or youtube.com forward slash Shreddy McSkate forward slash join, hit that link. It's like five bucks a month. Um, you're going to get members only videos. We can do members only chats. Um, and then pretty much whatever you guys want to come up with, I'll add to the tiers or do with you guys, whatever you guys want to do. And um, it, it helps support the channel immensely. Because guess what? The money that's coming in from the Shredhead membership, that's going to go towards a transit van. That's like my lifelong goal right now is more videos. a transit van. I'm trying to get a transit van so I could travel more and I could do more videos, meet more of you guys, and do more group rides. All right. Will this will this be a struggle? Let's make a poll. Let's make a poll. Is it gonna pump up good? Oh my god, the battery's almost dead. Oh no, we're gonna have enough pressure. <laughs> I think it's actually going in pretty good this time. Cool. Looking good, looking good. Still only at five PSI. Like 
If you rub your skin on the skin tire, it pulls your skin off onto the skin. <laughs> Road 11. Fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, hell yeah. It's in there. Perfect. And the freaking thing started blinking. Oh my god, I was like, oh my god, I forgot I didn't put the ah. <laughs> Yo, can I do it? Can I do it? It's always a struggle with shreddy. Come on, come on. No. Crap. <laughs> dude, dude. Oh, there we go. I got it. Nice. I lost about, let's see. It was at 20. Oh, no. I'm going to put it back on. I was like, why so much air? Oh no, the battery <laughs> Yup, it's a struggle. It's a struggle with Shreddy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to go to recording studios and just start cutting songs for, for more uh, videos. I think I want to come uh, do some more cheesy music videos. I haven't done those in a long time. And I want to record a struggle with Shreddy intro also. Where's my jacket? <laughs> Where's my jacket? I need my jacket. Will you play a guitar thing at the end? Maybe. Oh no! I can't touch the walls, can't touch anything. All right. I got like 10 batteries for this damn Milwaukee stuff like all around this house. So we got a two amp hour, and this is a three. But this all works with my heated jacket. How freaking cool is that? All right, so we took it, damn, down to six PSI. Russell said, one guy here in Oregon has been pimping his new lyric bike. Oh man, I'm jealous. I can't wait to get mine. There's definitely some special surprises coming from Lyric this year, guys. If you guys are, interested in the uh, lyric graffiti make sure you check out that link down below use code shreddy get two 150 or 200 dollars i can't remember it might be 150 or, or the voodoo Yes, sir. That, that Electrify Expo I went to in Austin, man, that was such an awesome experience. That was a lot of, lot of fun. Definitely a lot of fun. I'll keep this on the inside. All right, Matt, the mechanic, <laughs> I need you. I need you. I need you. Give it a flip this way. The motor cable goes. The motor cable goes to the front side. The motor cable goes to the. Pandalorian. Pandalorian said, "Hey, Shred, I live in Wisconsin. I'm thinking about buying a grizzly. How well oh, you gotta wrap it. Play in the winter and snow. Bro, wait until I get those freaking studded tires put on the grizzly next time it rains, and I'll show you." All right, so I could drop it in now. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what they have for savings right now, but definitely click that link down below, see what they got. Yes, my Puerto Rican freaking, I was gonna say my Puerto Rican hubcaps, but they're, uh, <laughs> they're valve covers. Puerto Rico, ho, let's go. Yo, I wish the horn would be like, would say wepa when I honk it, like wepa. 
Wepa! <laughs> or it would say, Puerto Rico, ho! <laughs> Puerto Rico, oh! I was actually in Puerto Rico during Hurricane Hugo, sitting on a porch in a house on stilts. It was pretty crazy. It was pretty crazy. Oh my God, my pants are getting so dirty from this bike. Yeah, I think they like tiny compact compared to this spark. I need bigger, not smaller. Yeah, the spark is definitely the longest, right? Oh, it wasn't that hard before. The longest out of your e-bike, right, Eddie? That's weird. It is. <laughs> That's weird, huh? Try the other one. Where's the other one? No, I mean, it's already in here. Same exact size, yeah. What are you guys doing? Trying to get the torque arms in. Could it be this thing? This one on the oh, yeah, that lock goes on on the inside. I messed up. I got to lift it up again. Sorry. That was my bad. That was my, my bad. Oh, shucks. So this is like the little locking, like, what do they call these, like locking nuts or whatever? That's supposed to be on the inside of the frame. That's better. Still's gotta drop a little bit. There we go. Perfect, now I think we're gonna be good. Yeah. That, Perfect, 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 yes. Now I got a, how many um for nickels? Couple um for nickels? One um for nickel, two, three, three, four. This one, hold on, good on this side. You guys have it on? I think so. Yes, sir. Don't you put tires Should I loosen that up? I can't, I can't wait to see what you might see in June, Freddie. Oops. Hope you are comfortable with lane splitting, getting really close to cars, and crawling crazy speeds. Almost got myself with the chain. Sorry, guys. I had to concentrate because the chain almost popped onto my finger. Man, the struggle is real. All right, go ahead. Sorry, D. I got a reading comment over and over. I'm like, huh, what? <laughs> It, it, it is definitely a little more like smaller for sure, a little more compact, kind of like the, darn it, I forget that little mini car, mini coupe, <laughs> kind of like a little mini coupe. Like Heck yeah, thank you, Matthew McCann Act. Someone said, Freddie, I can't wait to see you in NYC in June. We're going to be there. I hope you are comfortable lane splitting, getting really close to cars and crossing bridges. Oh, crazy don't, shh, don't tell D that, don't tell D that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, I'll be very safe. I'll stay on the sidewalk and I'll walk my bike. Who thinks Matt should sit on the floor so he's not on the couch anymore? I'll sit on the floor. <laughs> I haven't touched the couch. Okay, but you, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Toad Boy vlogs. Hey, Shreddy. I need a... Um, hold on one second, Toad Boy. One <laughs> second. I just got to get a zip, zippy tie. Zip-ta, zip-ta. I'm running, I'm running. You guys can still hear me. I can't believe you guys are hanging out on a freaking Friday. You guys rock, thank you guys. They're hanging out on a Friday, that's insane. It's a Friday night. Hell yeah, 28 people hanging out and 32 likes. Thank you guys. If you guys haven't dropped a like yet, please don't forget to drop a like. It helps that uh, helps boost that algorithm and gets this video pushed out to more people so they could join this live and hang out. Or if maybe you have some friends that want to hang out in the live and chat, send them a link to this video. Russell said I just got a rolling portable mixer that works great, 149 bucks, and works with your cell phone to make your live stream. Oh, very nice. Can you send me a link, please? I want to check it out. Yeah, same here. Milwaukee is definitely my, my favorite. I love Milwaukee. Did you do this odd? No. You did? Sure? 100% sure. Okay. 
<laughs> Don't tighten it up anymore. <laughs> well, 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 guess what? I did that before with White Mike on a ride, and he was on the Onyx going 60 miles an hour, and I went like this. And it was... <laughs> you always want to check your nuts. Always, always. If there's one thing that you got to do every time you put a bike together, or even after a few group rides, you got to always check your nuts. That's the one thing that's going to save your life one day. If you don't check your nuts, you might die. <laughs> you might get hurt. What else do I got? I got a bell. My Puerto Rican caps are on, so my, my bike is pretty reeking. It's pretty freaking reeking. I love it. Pretty. Oh, yeah, what was that? God, no, I'm just kidding. That's like a washer, like a lock washer. Four? I don't know. <laughs> what is this? What is this crap? All right, I'm going to flip it over and put the door back on. Oh, yeah. I got this. I got this. That way I can get in front. Am I going to hit that thing now? <laughs> this bike is a very long bike. Definitely a very long bike. I'm going to flip it then. I'll just set it on that back tire. Freaking right. Oh. Oh yeah, the brakes. I don't have any rear brake right now. Oh. All right, let me pump it back up. Oh my God, it is gone. Front brake's still good. Rear brake is done, son. I might have to do a struggling with shorty brake bleed. That's one thing I've, ooh, I gotta adjust that. That's one thing I've never ever done is a bike brake bleed. I do have two brake bleed kits in this house, so we can definitely get a brake bleed going on. That's a freaking flathead or what? I gotta extend that a little bit. So. Uh, four. Four. Ooh. Thanks, I Loon. <laughs> I just found my mic. I left it somewhere. What happened? Someone said I sound, Loon said I sound far away. Hold on, this one Wait, here? someone did. I thought I saw, there he is. <laughs> no, a little bit All right, we smaller. have a bunch of comments that came in, guys. All right, let's get them answered. Let's get them answered. Huh, huh, huh. There's the two up here. I'm just gonna go through a few, because there's where was a I lot. Oh, right. Nevermind oh. said, love your first video, self-checkout. Thank you, thank you. Oh, my, my, my band? Yes. Thank you, I appreciate it. We actually haven't had a show in a quite in a while. It's been a very long time. Um, I've been really trying to get those guys to get back together so we can uh, record some more songs. But man, when you get older, it's hard to do things like that. Yeah, I want you guys need to play again. <sighs> I should have adjusted this when it was off. Um, you can check out the full album for self checkout Black Skies on iTunes everywhere. All music services. Unfortunately, there we go. Oh crap. I dropped what I didn't want to drop and there's like a little sleeve thing in there. Ah! Dimebag <laughs> Darren said, put some spit on the valve to be sure it does not leak. I don't know what to do. Look for spit bubbles. Put some spit on the valve. Oh my God, the little thing dropped, dude. I gotta take it all the way <laughs> off now. Sorry, hold on. I, I know I said we're gonna catch up on the comments, <laughs> but it turned into a struggle. Can you? Lean it all the way. I don't have a bike. Dude, I shouldn't have unscrewed it all the way. <laughs> what happened? You broke it. There's like a little like... Like, it doesn't even come off all the way. <laughs> ah, crap. You lost something? Yeah, there's like a little screw that it screws into on the back side there. So here's what we're gonna do. Is it a really small screw? That sucks. Check under the tire. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna have to happen. What the? <laughs> where, where did the other one go there? Where did the other one go there, man? I see a small screw right under it. It's gotta be this one, right?
we're gonna have to fix it with it off. All right, I'm getting back to some of the comments. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll pay attention right now. Time back, Darren. Then you put some spit on the valve to be sure it does not leak. Look for spit bubbles. Oh, I should have done that. That's a good idea. I told you guys already that the, um, that the, man, I'm starting to get sweaty with shreddy right now, guys. Sorry. Um, the V Huntsman tires, it's been taking a while for me to get used to wheeling them things, but I think I'm, I'm finally starting to get it today. It's, it's just a, the smaller diameter I'm not used to. I'm used to wheeling on a five inch fat tire. The V Huntsman's are four inches, so it's hard. Do you see the little metal thing in there? Don't Time extend back. it all the way, uh, just like close it a little bit. Or actually just tighten it a little bit and then we'll mount it and then re-adjust. Uh, Question? Where's Question? the bolt? Ooh, you saying? The one that you took out of the Yeah. <laughs> About that bolt. There's a story. Dad makes said studded tires in the rain sounds like a wipeout to me. Oh no, I wouldn't I wouldn't ride those in a rain. I'm waiting for a nice uh a nice uh snowfall and some ice maybe if the the ponds ice up or something. <laughs> Rip across those. Uh Start with all the way. Yeah, start with all the way, but not super tight, and then we can kind of be able to adjust it. It was, it was a, a little bit of a struggle. I started sweating. I feel the beads on my forehead. Ham DeLorean said, yeah, the Milwaukee Ryobi arguments have probably started civil wars somewhere <laughs> in the world. Thank you, sir. The Ryobi boombox is almost okay. louder than my Katana air amplifier. Let's zoom in here, guys. I think Matt the Mechanic got a new sub, Wilfer. What'd you get, Matt the Mechanic? Uh, what did I get? PVP 4000? What's everybody at home rocking? It's a 1200 RMS to 3000 max. That sounds pretty awesome. Uh, Have you talked to, um, Paltima, do you know he created some crazy subwoofer some system? Some speakers. Yeah. Pretty cool. Dimex said, Av takes apart popular tools and shows if they're any good. Av is the name of his channel. Oh, cool. I'll check that out. I need to get well versed in the tools, I guess. He said, Chain Breaker, another tool that is needed. <laughs> I don't have one of those, do I? I don't. I don't think I do. Russell said, I don't know how many watts that thing is, but I know my Katana okay. is running 20 watts on batteries. Good right there. Yeah, I'll tighten it up. 30 watts on wall power, and it's also running dual three-inch drivers. Dime bag, of all these Scrambler bikes, which one is physically the biggest one? Out of all of these, damn, out of all of mine, I want to say probably this one, definitely. Like wider, longer, I mean. This and the Huck. Oh, the Huck is, is a motorcycle. Yeah. I think that's good. Hey, damn, this, this, it looks cool with the tires. Oh, hold on. I didn't get, I didn't get the full, like, yo, that looks sick. I like it. What do you think, D? Do you like it? What do you hey, guys think, it. guys? Comment down below. What do you guys think about the look? Hold on. Let me close, let me close this off. I think I want to wrap this or something. You think we could print some cool stuff to wrap this little section? That'd be awesome. Something, yeah, that'd be actually cool to match. Have like a that'd be awesome, actually. I like that idea. I love the handlebars with the skin wall tires. I'm looking cool. for two little screws to hold these things, and where are they? What? All right, here we go. I gotta buy more more of these. <laughs> I'll only use two to hold these in. Um, I want to make some kind of like finger uh, finger um, like thumb unscrew thing or something. I hope all this is okay. Yeah, I could always go in there and change out the controller. Nothing too crazy. That would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. That might be too crazy. Ham DeLorean, I'm totally geeked about ordering that Grizzly soon, especially when I'm upgrading from Electric XP. Oh hell yeah! Let's go. Make sure you, you click that link when you order that. Even just clicking that link and going to the website and checking it out, I think it saves it in your cookies for like 30 days. I always do this. Okay. Yeah, click the Aero Rider link below to help support the channel. 
It does, it does. At no additional cost to you. And when are you gonna come to Delaware and come ride with me? How you feeling, bro? I always wonder where they have these little cover things. It's like to go over like the nail, I guess. Samuel James said, how's that wind deflector working out? It's cool. I, I don't really, I don't know. I don't think it really uh, does too much. It might help with like the bugs or something, but it, I think it just looks pretty neat. Maybe it protects the display a little bit or something. I don't know, but definitely just for looks, I think. And Cafe racer style. This came from Amazon, guys. I can show you, I can throw a link down for that if you guys want to check that out. And where's the windshield from? Spark Cycle Works? Yeah, Spark has them. I love that thing, man. It's it's definitely useful on, on, uh, <laughs> on group rides. Matt commented, I won't touch the couch. Yeah, it does. So that's the one thing about pedaling with this thing. It does hit your legs, but again, that's why I want to change it out to just like no gears because I barely pedal this bike at all. I love ripping on this thing full throttle and everything. It's, it's definitely a lot of fun. Dimex said, if you have a community tab, please share the stream on your community tab. Dude, that would be awesome. Thank you, Dimebag Dare. I appreciate that. I, I love that idea, actually. I'm going to be using that. Unless you're in a stream saying it and helping me out, because that, that helps out a lot, my bro. Loon said, I just realized the tree is still up, lol. <laughs> they, they had a, a, a bet on it earlier. Like, before we were even in the stream, they were chatting, and they are like, <laughs> <laughs> do you guys want to bet that the tree's still up? <laughs> Where should I put my Puerto Rican bill? Tom Walter said, don't worry, D. Sure, he has tons of fans at NYC that'll ride and circle around him, a protective circle. Hell yeah. Check oh. your nuts, D's nuts. Hold on, who, who said that just now? The protective circle? The pro oh, no, yeah, who said that? Dumb Waldo. Oh, Dumb Waldo, hell yeah, dude. What, do you, what bike do you think I should bring up uh, to New York? Should I, should I do the Suron or? It's a Suron Mega Ride. Get this way right. I see Connecticut, check your nuts should go on your merchandise. Yes. Always check your nuts. We are going to get some shirts made with check your nuts for you guys. Okay. I like it. It sounds cool. Should I put it like on this side so I can just kind of like pull it? Oh my God. I thought you were supposed to like go like that. This seems like a, it's like a pool bell. Because if you put it here, it's on the inside. There, then it, huh? Oh man, I don't know what to do. Rotate that piece? Yeah, I could. I think I might put it like that. That way I can maybe ring with the other hand. I don't know. Because there, there's like not much room on here. I might have to take these little, um, what do you call these? The mirror mounts off. And then I could put it there. But for now, I'm just going to mount it as is. Like this, I think. On the inside. Russell said he's um, a fan of the Priority and Kuberg recently added Lyric to the list. Any bike that comes with a belt drives on the list. Kuberg have, is 14 kilowatt out yeah. of the box trials. I, I love the look of those things. I, I under 8,000. Wow, that's expensive. Yeah, they're definitely, they're pricey, but they're, they look like a lot of fun. I saw one at the Mega Ride. I wish I would have asked to, to try it out. I wish I would have tried it out. It was cool because the seat actually like went down like that and then moves up. It's pretty cool. But I did get to try an electric uh, converted dirt bike on that video, so you guys should check out that video. It was a lot of fun. The Suron Mega Ride video in Houston, Texas, he's referring to. Yep. Um, Jeffrey Robbins said, Shreddy, would you recommend a second battery? For the Spark Cycle Works Bandit? 100%, bro. I'm always all about getting extra batteries. More range. You know how the, uh, what was that one skit where they kept on going, more cowbell, more cowbell. We're all about more battery, more battery, more range, more range. More battery. Actually, Math and Mechanic is all about more power, more faster. <laughs> it's all about the battery. More faster, more faster. Dude, hold on, it doesn't, does it not fit? Did I not melt it? I don't think it fits these handlebars. Jeffrey, if you're interested in the Spark Cycle Works Bandit, um, Shreddy's discount link and code is below. It's yeah, Shreddy. It's supposed to go right in. What's your code or discount for Spark? Spark Cycle Works Bandit. Make sure you go uh, check out that link down below. Use code Shreddy. Get 100 bucks off. It might be 200 bucks off right now. I'm not 1,000% sure. They keep changing it up. Yeah, it might be. Click on the link and check. They always change. 
Okay, so I think I might have to put like a little like rubber thing around it because it doesn't fit that mount. <laughs> Wah! Okay. Maybe I can tighten it more, maybe. Did we catch up on most of these comments or are we still? Russell said, I would definitely upgrade the Kuberg to belt drive too, but I think it's already using a motorcycle grade chain sprocket, so it should be okay for a while here. Oh, that went to my handlebars. Yep, 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 yep. What did you want to change? Switch it to a chain sprocket or a belt? What did you say? What did he say? To a belt drive? To a belt drive. I like the, lo the loud chains. I don't know. The people... People switch, swap out to belt drive to, to be a little more silent, but Shreddy likes being loud. Do you think I can still remount that? Oh yeah. I think it mounts right there. Yeah, Dimebag said that frame looks nice and big to me. Handalorian no, said, here. dude, you almost need eight hangers mm -hmm. for that just to reach the handlebars. Do need Why don't you sit on it so they can see yeah, you sitting yeah. on it? So I'm, I'm five foot 11. Just so you guys know, <laughs> close to six feet tall, pretty close. Not, oh, the handle, the the the, uh, the grips feel awesome. I love the way it looks. Oh my god, I lost my rear brake. There's nothing. I can't even pump it back. They warned you. Ah! You guys warned him. <sighs> nope, it's dead, dude. <laughs> oh, it's grabbing though. It kind of grabs. <laughs> Damn it. Samuel James said, I put those same handlebar grips on my Grizzly. They feel nice. I like them. They actually feel nice and soft on your hands. And like the, the fake leather feels actually pretty nice. I like it. Or is it real leather? Nah, it's fake leather. You can smell real leather. You can tell. You can tell by the smell. To spray this spray <laughs> the, the leather smell. Yeah. Russell said, regular chain drives just die where we're at. The slit is bad. Sand is not bad. Dirt is not bad. But slit. Silt is the effing worst. It's the worst. I actually rode the Frigo F1 Pro today on the beach in the water as the waves were coming up just because I wanted to do it for fun. Um, but as soon as I got home, I got a wet soapy rag in a little bucket and just like washed the whole bike off. Just only at the bottom, not the whole bike. Like wherever I saw a sand, I took it all off. But anytime you guys ride in the beach, definitely clean those bikes off. Russell said, I just kept popping links on my bike LOL, I've given up until I can actually go places again and have a reason to build my stable back up to functional. What bike do you have right now? Dimebag said it looks very user friendly. I already have the dual batteries. Just so you know, though, um, I have the a 48 volt battery on the top and a 52 volt on the bottom. And the only way I'm able to run dual, uh, dual voltage batteries is because I have the battery blender here. And what that does is, is it makes it so it can work. And actually if one battery is charged more than the other one, it kind of takes the power from one until they're even and then they start draining them at the same time. So that's a battery blender from uh, Spark Cycle Works. I don't think I have a link for them, but uh, just go to sparkcycleworks.com and you can find it in there. I think it's like $100, $150. But, and um, I think you can go up to a 30 amp controller. And I think they have a nine, XT90 version and an XT60. Handalorian said, you'll find this screw around 2 a.m. as soon as you walk through barefoot, just like Legos. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Seriously. That does happen. That surely does happen. Or like uh, metal shards. Like when we were, uh, what did we do last time when uh, Matthew Mechanic helped me put on the basket on the, crap, what's that green bike? The electric bike company bike. Um, there was metal shards from a shaving. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I walked out there with barefoot and I was like, yep, there, there they are. <laughs> what uh, I think it was stripped. Yeah, we, we re-threaded it, it was stripped out. Gosh, I remember that yep. Well, I guess I'm gonna keep this for an extra kickstand that it may work on the other bikes. Actually, I think I want another kickstand for the, um, the Super 73 because like, their kickstand, the OG is like short and the bike just leans hard and it doesn't have an adjustment. Maybe I can somehow make this work on the Super. That'd be kind of cool. Ham DeLorean said, that looks like a Yamaha Cafe Racer without the engine. I love the skin wall tires. Oh, cool. I like that. I like that. That's awesome. Ice Cute Connecticut. Is D coming to the NYC Meg Ride, or can we make Shreddy misbehave? <laughs> misbehave oh, yeah. foul. I didn't even think about that. Matt, Matt the Mechanic brought that up, that it matches my little piggyback shocks, the tires. I 
I probably will not be riding around the streets of New York. <laughs> is D is D gonna make it to the mega ride? I don't know. I might bring her on the Wicked Film side cart. Oh yeah. <laughs> then she'll ride. But I, I need my sir on at the mega rides, man. I I rode a Super Seventy Three. It was fun, but my battery died. I almost got totally left behind. Luckily, I was able to pedal it out and catch up with the guys before uh, I lost them all. If I would have had my sixty volt, sixty amp hour battery. On my Suron, I would have not have that problem. Because it was a Suron Mega Ride. <laughs> yeah, Suron Mega Ride, a Super 73 with a 20 amp hour battery. Trying to keep up with Surons is a little hard. Yeah. You said the wind protector is for your nuts. <laughs> it is. Keep your nuts nice and warm, especially in the winter time. Yeah, you know what? In the winter time, when it's like 30 degrees and you're riding, it, that area gets very freaking cold. So what I did in a few rides this winter is I put those hand warmers in my pockets and I pushed them very close, very close, and it kept me nice and warm and it definitely worked out very well. If you guys want hand warmers, I'll throw a link for, for Amazon. Pam DeLorean said, waiting to get my shoulder surgery done first, man. You gotta come out to Wisconsin and check out the rail trails throughout our state. Oh, that sounds awesome. I've never been to Wisconsin, actually. That's, that, that'd be a fun ass trip. Dime McDerrin, ride fast enough in the rain and even a small windshield does good work. So the thing, um, the only thing I would change about this uh, setup for riding in the rain is if you can see that, or you can barely see that rear fender, it really doesn't do much. That water just shoots yeah. right on over. So the, the only thing I would just change on this bike would be adjusting the fender, maybe putting it out here having it come back out a little further may or maybe having like like you're showing the fender coming from here or something coming off of here. yeah just something to stop that rainwater from hitting you because i definitely got stuck out in the rain that one time where uh i thought the battery could take a seven amp charge for my grin technology chargers not knowing that the batteries they have in here have a five amp fuse in there i blew the fuse it stopped charging. I was like, oh no. And we saw the rain clouds coming. We were at the freaking bridge, at the inlet bridge. Um, whatever ended up happening. I think Bob and Marv and somebody else went to the, a boat store and found me a fuse. We opened the battery up, stuck the fuse in there, charged for like 15 minutes. It started raining. I threw the battery on and I think the battery died. I ended up having to use Bob and Marv's spare battery that he keeps in a book. But that was a crazy ride. I don't even think, I don't even know if I filmed that or not. I probably did. It's probably an old episode. Oh, we have someone else who still has a tree up. Burn one got beat. Hell by yeah. Tree Let's go. April. Let's go. <laughs> the motto, you need the Suron for that? NYC. These ones? Loon said Got definitely here. bring the Suron yeah, to the New York too. Mega Ride. What did Loon say? What's up, Loon? How you doing, brother? Yeah. I can't wait to see you, man. I've been meet, wait, uh, waiting to meet you for a while. <laughs> For a while now. So Moto Loon said, bring your sir on to the New York Mega Ride. I got to. I have to. It's a must. It's a must. And I got to see that cry cut, the cricket, cry cut bike. I want to see that cry cut. I think it's a cry cut or a cricket. Definitely got to try that thing out. Dimebag said, in the end, my dream is way overpowered dual motorbike with pedals that is 100% a sleeper. Nice. Very nice. I don't know if I, do you guys think I should upgrade the zoos or stick with trying to upgrade the, what's my Spanish, Spain guitar, Spain guitar, Spain bike. Ravel? Ravel, yeah, the Ravel Ringo. That thing is so cool. I love, I love the way that bike feels and how light it is. It feels so nice. It's a cool bike. Yeah. I just don't like the motor or the controller. John said, how many of your mega e-bikes are tagged e-mopeds? Well, I almost got the Huck Cycle Stinger tagged as an e-moped, but when I got to the DMV, I th there's a video about that. When I got to the DMV, they were like, oh, you need a bill of sales. Then I had to wait, what, like five or six months to get the bill of sales? I didn't, didn't end up going back or whatever because I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like I want to be regulated just yet until it really starts cracking down like crazy. Jeffrey Robinson. But hold on one second. Sorry, oh, you can get this bike. Actually, you can get a VIN number for this and get it registered and tagged as a moped if you want. So just so you guys know. What was that question? Jeffrey Robbins said, I am ordering tonight. Heck yeah, Jeffrey. If you got, if you're interested and if I helped you decide on purchasing the bike, you want to save $100, make sure you use code SHREDDY when you check out. 
I think it's 100 or 200 dollars off. I'm not 100% sure. If you want to go over there and check and let me know, that'd be awesome. And there's also e-bike discount links in the video's description as well for other e-bikes we've talked about from the, in the video tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And again, I did the Frigo uh, review video today. That's going to be coming out pretty soon. I, I still got to shoot a few more th uh, things with the drone uh, reshots. Then we got we got a lot of freaking reviews. I got the Hovsko bike. I got the the Van Powers bike. I got I have the Engway T14. Ride one up, core five, I still haven't reviewed. The folding Angway, uh, something pro, uh, the folding Jason. <laughs> I got a couple bikes to review for you guys. Maybe, maybe we'll start doing different style reviews since I got so many bikes, so many bikes. Ham DeLorean said, Amazon makes some pretty nice electric bike horns and they're USB-C rechargeable with bike alarm. Oh, that's pretty cool. I want one that plays like Ucaracha. That'd be pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> can you play very, that on your guitar very very fitting for shreddy get your guitar play that i cannot play la cucaracha on the you guitar you can play la bamba I, I, do you guys want to hear la bamba no you're putting me on the spot <laughs> ultima i was waiting for the show to start fell asleep but matt's there so it's all there cool. he is paltima yeah paltima is usually the one that helps me through like all the steps if matt's not here so we, we did all right i got a little cut and then a little bruise we're good some water. <laughs> Next live stream, man. Shreddy <laughs> bleeds the brakes on all his bikes. Shreddy bleeds the brake and Shreddy bleeds. Oh, oh, like I have like the whole uh, a whole uh, kit for that actually. I do. Maybe you might have to show me. I know there's like two needles you put on each side and yeah. all that stuff. <laughs> he said Shreddy loves to smell things. First the air on the tires, now the grips. The battery blender spark. <laughs> I guess I gotta say I still haven't licked the swing arm. Dimebag said, but with the battery blender, I think you cannot use regen. No, that's correct. That's correct. That was another thing. You cannot use the regen on there. Thank you, Dimebag. You rock. Jeffrey said, what's your opinion on the cafe bars versus the standard bars? I like the standard bars, cafe bars. Sorry, I like the standard bars because the cafe bars they have like that weird like. I don't know. I don't like that angle. That 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 position for me is just not comfortable. I have bad wrists from a lot of guitar playing, and I've broken my wrists many times. So I just like a nice, straight, comfortable position for me. No T said, "Do you need a battery blender for two 52 volt batteries? How would you charge them without?" Do you need a battery blender for two 52 volt batteries? Uh, no, you really don't. But you can do it if you have them at different charges. If you want, if you do run two 52 volt batteries at the same time, like I do on the Grizzly, make sure they're both charge up to 100%. Both on at the same time. There you go. Did they hear Matt? Matt, can you say that louder? <laughs> they should be. They, I was saying they should both be on at the same time <laughs> or have one go all the way down, turn that off and then turn the other one on. Yeah. So you can do it one at a time or just run them both. Para la 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 bamba se necesita una boca de gracia, una boca de gracia por mi pandilla y arriba y arriba, ay arriba y arriba por ti seré, por ti seré, por ti seré. Yo no soy marinero, yo no soy marinero, soy capitán, soy capitán. Thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you. That back, was great. Back to Mike. How many of you guys want them to do that? I don't want to scream into the mic. I can do like emo songs if you want me to sing and cry or something. <laughs> oh, do you want to announce your membership to new people? That's the one thing I do miss, guys. I've, I miss playing with my bands. I miss playing in front of people, going out to the bars and hanging out with friends and meeting new friends. I miss music. If you guys are local and want somebody to join a band, I'm, I'm here. I want to join your band. Some auto said, D, we have an all-female group in New York City called She Wolves. They will protect Hell yeah. you. <laughs> I yeah, they're awesome. I love that crew. That crew is awesome. I love the She Wolves. 
Jeffrey Robbins would say the Spark with two batteries is a superior bike compared to a Juice Hyper Scrambler. You get some good speed with this bike too. I think, oh, I can't remember what I hit on the, on the review on this bike. Maybe I hit like close to around 40 miles an hour. Go, somebody check out my review on this bike if you're, if you're interested in this bike. You can see what this thing can do. And it was, it was on this exact bandit. I used to have a little uh, band-aid there. That's what that little mark was there. What's up, Shred Dead? How you doing, bro? <laughs> they said, does your discount code still work? For Spark Cycle Works, it does. Use code Shreddy, should be $100 or $200 off. And I'm not sure if they're still doing that, like that drop down menu where you got to choose my name in the drop down menu for, for the people that you heard from. Um, it's code Shreddy with an IE, and the code would be in the description of this video. Mm -hmm. So check that out. They said, yeah, burn up those batteries. Um, Dimebag said, you need a battery blender once you go to two batteries. Since we are at nearly 5,000 for single motor dual battery bike, which other ones should be considered, especially considering price? Aero Rider Grizzly is one of, of my favorites. Dual motor and dual battery. I mean, it's the most similar to this, but not as big. And actually, you know what? The Frigo F1 Pro is actually a little bit similar, but way smaller than this, and it's $1,400, $1,500. Yeah, but it's not as good quality. No, 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 nowhere as near as good quality at all. But if you don't have the money to spend on something, the Frigo is definitely a, an option. An Aero Rider link is below too. Um, some water said circuits. Mike Warren. Bomber no, I think it's, is it cir circuits or? Circuit, not cricket. I thought it was Krika or cricket. Circuit, circuit. <laughs> uh, Mike Warren said Bomber Mars Ringo is fast. Oh yeah, it is. What's up White Mike? How you doing brother? We're, I think we brought you up earlier in the stream when, when uh, you forgot to check your nuts. We brought up the, the check your nuts story. Like riding on a closed circuit. Angway, okay, so it is called a circuit. Angway Engine Pro. Oh, we got a little that's Angway foldable bike. Yeah, that's what he's saying. That I have the Angway Pro and the T14 that I still got to review. And the JC on whatever that's called, JC on something. John W, Area 13 battery parallel coupler combines same volt batteries and saves money over Spark Blender. Good to know. Thank you. Ultima, <laughs> the battery blender, oh, Ultima replied, the battery blender is easier than manually balancing a pair of 52 volt batteries. If you run without a blender, you need to disconnect one, charge both, then match voltages and reconnect. Hell yeah. That's why, that's why we love you, Paul Tuma. That's why we freaking love you, bro. If 100%. they are not, time back if they are not the same charge, a stronger one will charge the lower one. They will equalize. The problem is they may do it quickly. Yeah. Too quickly without control. And then disaster happens. No tea. Gracias, guys. Ham DeLorean Freebird. Dime Peg Darren, I am a singer. Raphael clapping. Thank you, thank uh, you. We have some Shredheads members. The Scarecrow, thumbs up. Hey. Tom Bug, good job, Shreddy. Do we, did we get any new Shredhead members on, on this stream do yet? Do you want to announce to the new people who just joined? Okay, so everybody that's just joining, we do have a members, a Shredhead members uh, for YouTube where you can do members only video. I've got one up so far. We can do members only chat, members only posts. Um, you also get a little highlighted name with a little Shreddy uh, McSkate head next to your uh, name, so that's pretty cool. Um, if you guys are interested, it's like five bucks a month. Um, we don't have any other tiers yet. If you guys have any ideas of tiers we, you would like us to add or anything, any ideas like maybe do like um, one on one time face one on one FaceTimes with you guys a month or or something like that. But uh, just five dollars a month, it helps it helps the channel grow, and I'm using that money towards getting a transit van so I can travel, meet more of you guys, and ride a lot more group rides with you guys. Omni Vox Gaming Karaoke. I'm a wicked singer if you like Alice in Chains or Chris Cornell. That I kind do, of actually. I've been singing a lot of, uh, I'll wait for you now. Uh, these get mad at me because I sing that song all the time. I'd that song's like, wee, 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 wee. That solo is cool. Tom Morello rocks. He's an awesome guitar. Ultima said, yeah, if my chargers are similar amps, I'll leave the batteries connected. If one charge is a bit faster, the other battery will see it as a regen voltage and take it. I will take it away from you. It's mine. Omnivox, I've got a lot of videos of my singing here, and I play bass. Oh, nice. S send me a link, bro. I'd like to check it out. 
Are you, are you close to Delaware? <laughs> Do you want to start a band? Um, Omnivox, check out Shreddy's band where he's the lead singer and he plays uh, electric guitar. Self-checkout album, Black Skies. And I'm in another band called Clobbersaurus. I play iTunes. guitar and I do backup, uh, backup singing on that band. I don't, I don't do much singing for Clobbersaurus, though. Both bands are on iTunes and all music services. I wrote a lot of the guitar stuff, though, on Clobbersaurus. Ham DeLorean said, do you need two chargers for the Air Rider or will one charger charge up both batteries? So for the Air Rider Grizzly, uh, the version 2 that I had, they had two different chargers for those batteries, but the V3 got upgraded to the same uh, uh, ports or whatever, and they're only giving you one charger now, so I, I'm happy I got two chargers with mine. Dimebag Darren said, how much smaller is the Aerial Rider physically? Compared to this, man, I, I kind of wish I could, I could bring it in, but right now the bikes are super tight in the garage. But it's definitely, it's smaller. definitely smaller than this. It has a smaller wheelbase uh, for sure. I want to say maybe it cuts off right here. I feel like the seat's not as long, and maybe is it not as high? Yeah, I feel like it might be a little bit closer to the, to the handlebars, too. But th yeah, this bike is definitely a, the, one of the widest bikes that we have. This one, the Wicked Thumb's pretty big. The Revolt Cruiser is super long. You know, I think that's the only long bikes I have. And then those mountain bikes that I got. But that's because they have those But this also has like a inch comfy range. seat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you got the upgraded seat, but it's still like a nice comfy seat. Oh, I forgot. Did, I, did you guys see the... Um, I put up a short on YouTube where like the... A car, I don't know if I put it up yet. No, I didn't. It's on TikTok and... Instagram stories. There was I was doing the review the other day on the Frigo, and I was on the shoulder just like swapping something out or something. I saw the wheelie kid ride right by me, and all of a sudden I feel I like feel a car coming up behind me, and it goes right next to me. But what happened was like I think a car was turning into the lane going this way, and this car was trying to avoid it, and I'm right here in the shoulder, and it goes like that. So the cars are right next to each other, they're like right next to me. I'm like, what the hell was that? But I said, what the f is that? Um, yeah, that was scary. <laughs> That'll be on the review. <laughs> Unless you guys want to watch it now on TikTok. Mr. Central Driver said, oh, they reached out to me, but haven't heard back. Who's help, that? Help oh, Spark. That bike looks dope. Spark Cycle Works reached out to you, Mr. Central. Hell yeah, bro. Mr. Central Driver just got uh, um, the Zoos. Did you get the, you got the 1100? <laughs> Can you tell us what you're upgrading on it? I, I see you're, you're getting into it right now. And oh, actually, Mr. Central Driver, he's the one that rides a Suron. And what did you say? You run at an 800? Did I say 800 phase amp? That he said 800? He, he runs it fast. 18, 18 kilowatts. And how many phase amps are you pushing out? And he only does that in the wintertime. And when it gets warmer, I'm pretty sure he, like, bumps it down. Yeah, he can't go wrong. That's actually... Darren said, Omnivox is me. Would you consider a 99 cent first tier? We could do that. I wonder how how to how to swap it out because right now the first tier is five dollars. I do a I'd few have people for. He said I do a few people for ninety nine cents. I don't expect anything for it. Is that Patreon or is that? I do have YouTube a Patreon too, but I don't really announce it too much because I don't really know how to Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> is Patreon the same thing as YouTube members? I think so. I think you could upload the videos there early so they can see it, but I can do uh, members only uh, early uploads on here. So like. I could give you guys a video two, three days before anybody else gets it. <laughs> so like members early videos. Pantalorian said, Shreddy's secret is he's really that kiss guy from the Foo Fighters concert years ago. <laughs> what? You're going to have to link me that. I am Omni and I am in Vancouver. My last band was a while back and called Savage Amusement. Oh, that sounds cool. We were kind of Scorpions UFO tribute -y. Oh, nice. Nice. Do you, do you guys have any videos online? I'll have to check it out. That's awesome. Dimex said, is the Aero Rider the next biggest bike, but smaller? I have to say the price is so similar. The Aero gives me two motors. Yeah, so it would be like this and the Aero Rider and then like the Super and then the Frigo or something like along so those styles. So the Aero Rider is like the next size down. Yeah, compared to this, I, I would say. So. Yeah. But I, I still think it might be the same height. What do you think, Matt? Probably the same height, almost. Probably the same height. Yeah. Just About shorter. 33, 34 inches. Like yeah, Mike Warren said the X-Class uh, Air Rider is shorter, but they are just as tall. If you guys are in a DC area, Mike Warren has a Air Rider X-Class for sale, I think, still. That goes about 50 miles an hour. 
You should announce your Patreon because a lot of us don't want to s send more money to Google, Alphabet, or any of those. Okay. The Patreon. Um, I think I have a Patreon link down at the bottom. So if I see people start joining that, I'll, I'll definitely uh, start throwing the videos on there early too. Jerry T. Hey, guys. New to the channel. Glad I found you. Jerry T. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it, man. How much did you get to catch? Did you get? Did you catch us struggling? I cut my finger a little bit. A little bruise on this one. <laughs> so... Definitely a slight struggle today. I still got to fix uh, this. I'm going to have to drill out the hole a little bit bigger so I can get it even and, and more flush against there. Dimebag said, would this be less expensive than the Aero Rider? Let me see the price on this. Let me see what the stock is. The Aero Rider Grizzly right now, I think it's 3300 right now. Uh, let's go to Spark Sack of Works. Spike Sack of Works. Click on the links under the video's the description bandits. for the Spark Cycle Works and the Aero Rider, and you can see which one's cheaper. You can see what the discount codes so are. They're saying that it is $32.95 right now, so pretty much along the same lines as a Aero Rider Grizzly. <laughs> so sorry that doesn't help you. <laughs> but use code Shreddy, $100 off that. Don't forget. Or it's $100 or $200 off. They're at a crazy race right now, racing a big banana tandem bike that has a 2,000 watt rear motor and 1,000 watt front motor. The rear guy controls the rear, the front guy controls the front. I don't know how it's gonna go. That sounds like it's gonna be crazy and super fun. Spark Cycle Works he's referring to. Spike Cycle Works. That's what Chris called them before by accident, that's funny. I scoot Connecticut. I'm five foot seven with thirty inch inseam and can ride the bandit comfortably. Five foot seven? Okay. D is like five foot three. She can't even touch no. the ground on this thing. But they do have a solution for somebody like D if she were to ride it. They have a shorter front fork, and then they lower the back. I think they they have like sh a smaller suspension for the rear. And I don't know if they do anything with the seat, but they do have an option for shorter riders. Ham Delorean said, "Do you guys have a Discord channel?" No, but I need to figure that out and learn how to use that because everybody's been asking me about a Discord channel. Oh. And that's like somewhere we can kind of like post everything, stuff that's going on, like we're going live tonight, stuff like that. Yeah, he's I, on Let me Instagram. research that a little yeah. bit more because I, I need to start doing more stuff like that I'm now that Discord. we're growing. What's that? I'm on Discord. I, I have a Discord, but I, I need to make just like a, a shreddy Discord. We can make a shreddy Discord. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Do I still have Discord on my, oh, my phone's right there. Yeah, Dimebag said, this one with two batteries compared to Aero Rider with two batteries and two motors. Um, so, do you want to announce your giveaway on, and tell them it's on like Instagram too? For, oh, wait, the so are there any Suron owners in the chat right now? How many people do we have in here? Like 30 people hanging out? Does anybody have a Suron? Are you guys interested in a new swing arm for the Suron, like a giveaway? We're doing a giveaway. If somebody has a Suron in here, I'll tell you guys about the giveaway. You have to have a Suron because you got to post a picture of your bike on your story or send it to me to be entered for the giveaway. And then the, uh, the community ch chooses the winner of the swing arm. And then you get to choose a custom color for your swing arm. Any, anybody? Any Suron? 30 people and no Suron owners? Come on. Dimebag Darren said, I'm only interested in full suspension, especially those that use motorcycle style shock that are upgradable in the back. At my age, I agree with you. Full suspension, you got to have it for the biscuits, man. Got to have it for the biscuits. Guys, thank you guys for hanging out. That was a fun struggle with Shreddy. Thanks, Matt the Mechanic, for hanging out and helping me out with the, the little struggles that we had. We got through them. We, we, uh, we did a good job. We got the bandit totally looking different. Let me get out of the way so you guys can check it out. Dead shreds on there, freaking rocking out the new, the new skin wall tires with the new grips. I think he's telling me that they're, they're pretty comfortable and soft. He likes the, 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 the look of the tires and everything. Guys, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Drop me some likes if you, do, if you guys do like the, the, the way it came out. If you guys had fun hanging out, definitely drop some likes. And as always, if you guys want to support the channel, check out all those links down below. Join the Shredheads. It's only five bucks a month. Check out that link down below for the... I was going to say the Arrow Rider Grizzly because we're talking about that so much. The Spark Cycle Works Bandit. Use code Shreddy. Get $100 off your order. If the Spark Cycle Works Bandit isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Any more questions before we close it out? A few more questions just came in. Oh, okay. Jerry Let's T, see. any group rides coming in the future? Okay, so I was talking about trying to, to put together a group ride. 
um, around here, like Dewey Lewis, maybe doing some kind of like day to night ride. Where That's we put Delaware. Like, in Delaware, yeah. But uh, the next group ride coming up that I'll be going to is going to be March 3rd in Tampa, Florida. March 3rd through the 5th for the Mega Ride. There's also some Mega Rides in New York. There's another uh, Houston, Texas Mega Ride going on in, I think, September or October. He just posted something up, so I'll definitely be going to that. New York's is July. Uh, I'm going to be going to California here pretty soon, too. So if you guys are in California and you guys have any uh, group rides coming up soon, maybe send me some dates. I'm going to be going uh, to Dana Point, Orange County, hanging out with uh, Shaver. We might take it up to... Uh, San Francisco, since we've never been, no, hold on, not San Fran. Where's, what's the other place that people want me? Seattle? San something. It's in California. <laughs> I don't know. San, I don't know. But we're going all around California, but I'll, I'll be up there soon, guys. Uh, Matt, Lou wants to know if you're going to the Mega Ride in New York. That's going to be an easy one. you got to make it to that one. If I can escape. Yeah, he's got a baby, so he he's like, a baby. he's daddy status. He, he's got to be a rad dad. Or maybe he'll bring the kid. Is it on a weekend? I uh, don't know. June. Is it June or July? It's got to be on a weekend. It has to be on oh, a weekend. Oh, I think it's... Oh, no. Wait, it's June. Like the first week in June? The second week after my birthday. Let's do it. Maybe I'll have a transit van by then from all the Shredhead members. That'd be great. <laughs> Let's do it. That's it, guys. So if you, thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for hanging out on a freaking Friday of all things. 10 o'clock at night. I didn't think it was this late. So if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that Puerto Rican notification <laughs> to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live. You guys rock. Thank, thanks a lot. And thank you to all my Shredhead members. I like that grateful shred. <laughs> grateful shred. Thank you, brother. Have a good night, guys.